TKO, the notorious Hunter He will carry a guy to a championship, and for me, he carried you to a title. Let's go! Hello everyone, in this video, we will discuss the most awaited rematch between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. After the confirmation from the UFC president Dana White, everyone gets so excited to see McGregor and Poirier back in the cage for the second time around. And professional fighters share their thoughts and gave their predictions. Some said that Conor will do the same but the others said that Dustin will take his revenge. In fact, Conor McGregor predicts that he will knock out Dustin in just 60 seconds, and Dustin responds as one mistake is all it takes. From those side comments fans were getting more excited. And because of that, come and join me to determine who among those fighters got more votes saying that they pulled a victory in UFC 257. And at the end of the video, we will count who has more votes. Are you ready? Let's get it on. Two really high level fighters. Um, Cook, you know, Connor's really good. Connor's really good. I do see uh, him probably winning. It'll be uh, interesting to see if Dustin rises to the occasion. Poirier is definitely the more improved of the two that I can tell because Connor doesn't fight very often. I've seen Connor get rocked too. So, you know, Connor's vulnerable to that too. And I think it, I could see that fight ending in a knockout one way or the other. What is that guy doing? What is he, Connor's fan? He's lost the fight already. If the fight happens, there's not a doubt in my mind Dustin's losing that fight. This is for him. This is not for you, Dustin. Relax. I think it has Dustin Puri. Why do you think he's on the podium? Да, он мне проиграл, но до меня он показал очень хорошее выступление. И после меня он выиграл и 105 бойца. I think he beat him once. I think uh, Connor is a very good striker. And uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a good matchup for him. About Connor, and he can talk all the trash about me that he wants, but I, it, I think he's extremely skillful. And uh, if uh, Dustin tries to stand with him, I think it's, it could be another crazy war. And I think it's anybody's fight at that point. It's going to be, it's not going to be competitive. I think Connor's just going to spark him first round. You know, just get the clinics ready because Dustin's going to be crying up a storm in the press conference and get everybody feel back for me. Oh, we win. Against a guy like Warrior, which is a, a dangerous guy. One thing is coming back and fighting uh, Donald when Donald is not at his prime, for sure. I mean, he's not as tough as he was back in the day. But Dustin is still a dangerous guy. He has fought for the title recently. So I think it's a good fight. I would say that, that Dustin gets that win. But it's not an easy one. I think I, I, I would I would pick Connor, but I wouldn't be shocked to see Poirier go in there and get it done. Especially at 55, he's looked really good at 55. I'm hoping Justin Poirier. I think he's been more active. I think he's learned from the first one. He's not going to take him any lighter and come in more serious and more prepared. And hopefully, he can get it done. Whenever Conor McGregor, McGregor steps out there, he has this way with people of getting into their heads. So at this point, uh, I'm, 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 I think Conor McGregor takes it home again. I'm gonna go Poirier. Uh, I'd like to see him get that one back. Uh, you know, um, I'm a McGregor fan, Poirier fan, but I'm gonna go with Poirier. I think he gets it done the second time around. Oh man. I think I think Conor's gonna get him again. I think Conor's gonna get him again. I like Dustin. I think I, I think I don't know if you guys can win, but if I have to pick one, I'll, I think Conor's gonna get him again. Because Conor's looking real sick right now, but uh, yeah, I think that would be a fight for everybody. I mean, Conor always draws in the most attention, and he's always, but you know, Dustin, I feel like is the genuine OG. I'm gonna go with Dustin. Conor, first round. I feel like the, he's gonna get in his head again, and the uh, left left hand is gonna work well again. Uh, I didn't think Poirier looked too good. His last fight was he fought Hooker, right? Looked like he was falling over a lot on his punches, like. Uh, um, but Connor, he's been out for a while, uh, so I don't know. For me, I, w I, w I would like to see Poirier. I like Poirier. 
But he, he to me he didn't look too good in his last fight. Uh, I guess it depends how motivated Connor is, because I feel like a motivated Connor is really dangerous. And if it's a motivated Connor, then I think he wins that fight. Um, but if he just kind of goes in there and doesn't take Dustin lightly, then I think he'll, you know, he'll have a hell of a fight. So, um, I don't know. I'd say Connor. Yeah, man. I, I, Poirier has looked really, really good uh, since moving up to 55. And I think it's a different animal when these guys don't cut as much weight. You know, they're more hydrated. They can take the shots better. Thiago Santos is a perfect example of, uh, you know, having a better chin when you move up in weight. Uh, and he's been active, man. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with Poirier in the rematch. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna go with Connor again, man. I think, uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm I'm gonna go with Connor again. Just when he has that first win over him. Dustin has gotten a lot better, and he seems like a totally different fighter now. But I think Connor, uh, I think that that last fight, that knockout, will uh, be in the back of Dustin's mind, and I think Connor will get it done again. Poirier's looked good and been active, but he hasn't been overly active now. Just more active than Connor, right? Probably Connor McGregor. Probably Connor catches him on the feet again. Um, Dustin has really improved. He's not the same fighter. Connor, you know, might be, or, you know, he doesn't fight that often, but Dustin really has gotten a lot better, you know. But sometimes when someone beats you like that, they just got you. So, um, I think he knocked him out pretty quick, right? I think he knocked him out. Real quick, hit him in the back of the head a few times, just, just wasted him real fast. But just stylistically, his style just matches up so well against Connor that Connor, you know, will will stop him again in the first round. Yeah, I think that's gonna happen. I hope it does happen. I've heard a lot of talks about it. Um, I, I honestly, I think Poirier, if if he gets down into his wrestling, I think he can do that. Dustin Poirier beat me up, so obviously I want him to do well, because then it doesn't make me look as shit. <laughs> but uh, on the same on the same hand, I feel like, in my opinion, skill for skill, Conor McGregor is is the most technical and is the most skillful guy in the division since the champ has retired. You know, skill for skill, technique for technique. I feel like Conor McGregor is the hot, most difficult guy to beat. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I hope Poirier wins. Um, I'm not a huge McGregor fan just because of his conduct, but he's a very good fighter and an athlete. So, you know, um, as R Ronda Rousey once said, she's not being paid to be a role model. <laughs> I'll never forget. She has a lot of good quotes. Um, but I don't know, whatever. I just care about JoJo. Um... Man, Poirier is, is getting better, but I think he's gotten a lot better. I think he's a different fighter than the first time they fought, but I also have a feeling that Connor is going to take it. You know, he seems a bit older, like wiser, more humble, and like taking training. I don't know, you saw him like fight, fight Cowboy. Incredible performance, right? Took him out quick. Like, I, I think he's going to come in a different fighter and, and better than ever. Um, so I got time. I got time on this one. I say McGregor. Um, anything he touches with that left hand is going down. And even though Dustin is bigger, I feel like uh, McGregor's speed is going to be the it factor in uh, in finishing this fight. Tough fight to pick, in my opinion. You know, I think obviously if it's a finish, I think it's Connor. Actually, if it's a finish, I know it's Connor. You know what I mean? This guy's his finishing ability is unreal. The power in that left hand, and he's very savvy, and he's never the same guy. Every time he comes out, he's got something new in, in, in his arsenal, new weapons. He's got this ground game that's underrated, and he's got a lot of great skills. But I think the longer this fight goes, the more it's going to favor Dustin Poirier. So my prediction is if it's a finish, it's Connor. If it's a decision, it's Dustin. Uh, but nonetheless, man, it's going to be a very fun fight, however it plays out. It's going to be really fun to watch. Oh, my gosh. It's so hard because... I do like the both of them. Uh, I think Connor is just, and he's just in this completely different level of if he wants to do it, he's going to do it. So it just depends if he's, you know, the year out for him is going to be an issue. But for someone like him, 
I don't see it being a problem. So, yeah, I think I've got Connor for, for the win. But I, I feel so bad for Dustin because I love him as well. <laughs> but, yeah, Connor. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm excited. Like, I, I'm, I'm a fan of both these guys, both those guys. And um, I think it'll be a different fight. I think uh, Dustin has, has come a long way. I mean, he was a great fighter back then, but he's matured quite a bit. And I, th I think that, you know, he'll, he'll at least give, give Connor a run for his money, if not, if not come out with the win. I don't know. I don't know, you know. Dustin, Dustin is always, uh, always motivated. Uh, looks like we got a motivated Connor, so I can't wait. You know, fight should be fireworks, should be exciting, and uh, I just say enjoy, enjoy it. You know, it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a real good one.